Hello, and welcome to the Pick a Pen Workshop, Creating Being Art, presented by Fulton County Arts and Culture. My name is Tisha Smith. I'm the Arts Education Coordinator with the Emma Darnell Aviation Museum. And today we're gonna to be creating this wonderful piece of art that you can hang in your home, maybe around your coffee bar, maybe it could be specific to your bathroom design or what have you, created totally out of beans. So let's get started. What you're gonna need initially is a blank white canvas, black beans, white beans, some silicone glue, I prefer liquid nail, acrylic paint, a container for your paint, craft sticks, paint brushes, and I would highly suggest you using gloves. Um, the silicone glue does need to be used in a well-ventilated area because it does have fumes. Let's get started. First, you're gonna to need to pick a simple silhouette. Me being a tea lover more so than a coffee lover, I decided to go with the tea silhouette for this project. I'm gonna put my gloves on before I get started because we're gonna be jumping right in from step to step. Another tip is I would highly encourage you guys to protect your workspace at home. We know that you guys are doing this in the comforts of your own home. So it's very important that you protect your work surface because you're probably doing it in your kitchen. We are using um, items like the liquid nail that is a bit toxic and it shouldn't be mixed with food surfaces. So make sure that you do protect your surface when you're doing this project. All right, to begin, like I said, you're gonna need a simple silhouette. I chose a teapot and the word tea. You might want to choose the word coffee time. You may even want to use a tea cup or a coffee cup and the word or the word coffee. These images can be found on the internet and they're just regular stock images. Google silhouette, coffee words, coffee pot or something of that nature and a bunch of um, options will pick, come up. I'm going to go with the teapot and the word tea. It's already prepped. So your next step is after you've chosen your silhouette, you're gonna cut it out to where it's now a stencil. You're gonna place it onto your canvas, like so, identifying where you would like for it to go. If you're not a person that can kind of center things, this will be a good time to use your ruler. If you don't have a ruler available, your craft stick is straight enough. You could just lay it on the surface of your canvas to kind of give you a straight marker to work from. Once you have it positioned, you're going to use your pencil and you're just going to trace around the word that you choose to create. All right. Being careful to Definitely get around these sharp corners with your words and so forth so you can have a wonderful area to work with. Once you've gotten it traced out, it's going to look like this. Now that you have your silhouette laid out, what you're gonna do next is paint inside the space with black paint, leaving the outside of the space free and clear of any black paint. So black is gonna only go on your traced out silhouette area. That's where your black beans would go. You may use uh, a couple of different paint brushes. For me, because I do have some areas that have some tight corners, I did choose to uh, use two paint brushes. I may not need to use both because this one should be sufficient enough. You're not gonna need a whole lot of black acrylic paint, so be careful not to over, over pour when you're using your black. It's not gonna um, be a lot of black acrylic paint that you would need to work with. All right, carefully painting inside of your silhouette and making sure that you have designated every area that's going to be where your black beans go by making sure that you get into the spaces well.
You can use a larger brush in larger area if you have a larger area that needs to be covered just to minimize time. All right, but I would again encourage you to use a smaller brush in the areas that are going to be a little tighter and when a large brush may have you go outside of your lines. Once you have painted it all black, it's going to look like this. This is where you will put your black beans. Now let's start placing our beans. Now for me, I like to work out a little containers like such. You could do a paper cup, just something that would be a little bit more convenient for you to work on in your area. I like to pour the beans out onto a tray just so I can grab them a lot easier. I'm just using a regular acrylic uh, ceramic plate. And this is where the liquid nail comes in. Now, I have my gloves on. This gets a little bit messy. So if you're a person who don't like mess, this may not be the project for you. But if you don't mind getting your hands a little messy, by all means, jump right in. All right, now I'm gonna be very generous with my glue because I want them to stay to the surface. As you see here, once it sits up, it needs to be able to as displayed and no beans fall off. Now, you see how the liquid nail is squeezing out in a consistency of that of toothpaste, all right? That's good, you wanna get a good little glob onto your surface and then use your craft stick to just kind of spread it around. It's gonna look like Vaseline a little bit, but that's, to, that's the characteristic of silicone-based adhesive. Some may be less, um, the, it may have a less thicker consistency than others, but for the most part, silicone-based adhesive do have a very Vaseline or lotion-like consist consistency. You wanna use your craft stick and kinda of get right up to the edges. And if you go outside of the surface, your black surface area, that's okay, because you are gonna be placing beans on the white part as well. Now, because silicone does dry a little bit faster than your traditional um, adhesive like craft glue, um, you do want to kind of work in smaller areas and work your way through completion as opposed to just putting it all on the surface and running the chance of some of the areas drying out before you get your beans laid. So kind of give yourself a good area to work with. Initially, I'm going to spread this all around. I grabbed a handful and I just plot them right down mashing them down, anything that has rolled over, just grab it, smash it right on down. Spread them all over the surface where there's glue, kind of smoothing them in, if that's the word. <laughs> but mashing them down well to where they're nice and adhere to the surface. All right, this is the time that you can use maybe an extra craft stick to kind of push the beans up tight so they won't fall off. All right, once I've gotten that area done for me to know where I need to put beans next, I just dumped them off. Anything that didn't stick is gonna roll right off. Everything that's stuck is gonna stay in place. Now you know where you need to put your next beans. Once it's completely covered, this is what it looks like. All right, now let's put our white beans down. You guys may see, notice that I've already painted the edges. That is a part of finishing it, but because I already had my black paint out, I just painted the edges. And I would encourage you maybe to do so as well. That way, everything that needs to be painted black is dry before you're um, handling the canvas to put your beans down. So when you do paint your area that you're gonna be putting your black beans black, paint the edges of your canvas as well. If you're using a 
framed canvas, you're definitely gonna have edges. If you're using a canvas board, you won't have edges, it's flat. But you can still put a bead of paint on the edges of it, just to have it with a good clean finish, all right? So we're gonna put our white beans down. Same principle, squeezing out the paint onto the surface. And this time, instead of a craft stick, I'm gonna use my fingers because I need it to get tight into the area here. So I'm just gonna take my finger and spread it over the surface, spreading out the glue. Make sure you bring it right to the edge because what will happen is bees will roll off of the edge because they are not glue. You think you may have put some glue there, but glue is not there. And if you get some onto the pot, that's all right. It does dry clear. That's the beauty of using the silicone base adhesive. When you purchase it, make sure that you purchase a clear drying silicone base or a clear drying craft glue. You can use regular Elmer's glue with this, but you're gonna have to work in a flat, on a flat surface and not move it once you've got it, once you have adhered the beans to the surface. Give yourself about a 24 hour drying period before you actually start moving it if you're gonna use just a regular craft glue. But again, I highly encourage you for drying purposes, for moving it and moving through this project quickly, I strongly encourage you using a liquid nail or a silicone based adhesive. I'm gonna grab my white beans and same way I did the black beans, just drop them down and just push them up to the edge everywhere where there's silicone. And get the beans laid onto the surface where there are to be white beans. I like using recycling the beans. I put them on, they fall off. I put them on, they fall off. But guess what? Once they get adhered to the silicone, they're not going anywhere especially once the silicone starts to dry. It becomes very tacky and um, rubbery in its consistency. So if you have some parts that are dry and kind of sticking out, you are able to grab it and pull it. It does have like, a, again, a rubbery consistency and it'll break right off like maybe a glue um, adhered to a cell sticker of something of that nature. All right. If you notice that a bean is not adhered to a space, just grab it up and put it in an area that you know is going to, that has glue. Again, pressing the beans close together because you want it to have a good even surface. I like this project because it adds texture without having to create texture, say with a brush or maybe with paper. Um, the beans are textured themselves. And once you put them onto the surface, it adds a very unique texture. Now, as mentioned, you don't, um, early, you don't have to just stick with the black and white. Because the black and white beans contrast with one another very well, um, it is encouraged that you use black and white beans, but you can use kidney beans, you can use lentils, the choice is yours, whichever be split peas, but as long as they're dry beans. Um, as a final touch, I know now decor and coffee bars in your home are coming with the copper and the metallic accents and things of that nature. You don't have to leave it black and white. If you choose to spray it with like a, a metallic spray, you can finish it off with a spray paint and then hang it in your kitchen and it will fit with your decor, whether you have a metallic theme, whether it be copper, gold, or silver, or even a pewter, that would be beautiful too. I might even take that one home and spray it pewter or the rose gold, oh, that's phenomenal in the houses now. Rose gold are beautiful. Once you have gotten all your white beans laid, this is what your finished product will look like. Now, for this one, what I did was, as opposed to spraying it with the clear acrylic coating, I put Mod Podge all over it because I still had some beans kind of rolling around. You can get a Mod Podge, which is a, a, an adhesive, as well as a sealant. Um, and I just poured it right on and lightly brushed where the beans would move out of place. 
Um, and you may see that there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's still some little spots there that need to dry. Uh, that's the, a typical characteristic of using a poor type of adhesive, um, but that's all right. It eventually dries, it's just not finished drying. It does eventually dry and dry clear. Just be certain that whatever type of sealant that you decide to use, that you're using a clear drying sealant or even a clear adhesive. You don't want it to dry white and then you can see the white up under the beams, all right? Again, once you've gotten everything in place, make sure that you do paint your edges to finish off the piece of work and then enjoy. Hang it in your home, buy your coffee bar. If you do one with bath time, I think that'd be pretty fun. But the beans, again, provides a very unique texture to the composition and is very durable as well as archival to be able to hang in your home, to be able to enjoy for a good, a good little while. All right, thank you so much for participating. I hope you enjoyed this workshop and we look forward to seeing the works that you're going to share. Thank you again for joining us.